Welcome back to Factorio Hyperbase Revisited, uh, episode number 20. So the last few episodes we've been sorting out the um, revised oil mechanics in particular for, uh, well the rocket fuel um, one in particular, where you now need to inject light oil into the final um, production of the rocket fuel, which wasn't the case in version 6, uh, 0.16 which is the version that um, I started this factory in before science changes um, started taking effect. Um, so we've been using that to fix up the, um, the rocket fuel and we've more or less um, got it uh, moving now. Um, if we come down to the uh, launch area and I noticed a bit of lag then I'm um, just going into map mode so a bit more is going on than previously um, well you, this is ticked on um, this also has ticked on what actually has happened is I um, fixed a slight issue I had with the the sciences train and it ended up uh, in delivering a bunch of just trying to find the science now. Um, a bunch of science to somewhere in here we actually had an active column um, because it delivered 32,000 of each of the non-space sciences. It looks like that active column has uh, finally ended. So um, it's not active anymore for some reason. Red seems in short supply. They should all be exactly the same. Uh, although I guess maybe we did some sciences that were imbalanced so we might have to try and fix that up at some point but yeah that's why the science has advanced now um, we've also had space science come and deliver and you can see space science is much higher than the other sciences so we really don't need space science to um, keep on delivering we need to sort out uh, we finally need to sort out this one the yellow science um, 5.6 yes so it doesn't need a copper train coming in here I need to um, get rid of the copper train which uh, is based from up here we may need to use the copper for other purposes um, so actually I need if only I could have gigantic um, symbols rather than just these little ones um, but these are the LDS and we need LDS for yellow science um, this is LDS for the satellite and they don't have to travel very far and if we um, use them for LDS uh, for yellow science they'd have to travel this uh, distance which scrolled out this far may not seem that far but that's a very long way uh, I guess it's no further than the oil is coming down to get to uh, those sciences and in fact that is what my preferred strategy is because one way or another I need to get plastic over here if we're to make um, the product necessary for LDS for yellow science and my only other option really is from here and um, well I mean that is basically just as far and it's probably easier to set it up over here um, so that's one consideration the other is clearly we seem to be making um, more plastic relative to our demand for um, rocket fuel although I have noticed that these are filling up to the complete brim um, oh, we've expanded the um, heavy oil cracking but probably not quite enough um, so yeah these things are completely filling there you go 7.9 it shouldn't be very much longer normally there's like one slight holdout along the line here somewhere that um, just fills slightly slower than the rest or well, for example this one 364 um, there was one that was 399 along there 
but I think it's mainly actually this one which surprises me a little bit that the second one along would be um, kind of the holdout. Uh, I pr possibly need to check all the modulization of the beacons. I think they're okay. Um, yeah, it's probably only 10 more from this one and we'll be done. And then they may even have time to buffer slightly. So every time that launches, there is uh, extra demand on the plastic, but I'm kind of of the opinion that the plastic could do with more. So using the same supply of plastic and fuel, and we know the fuel's not enough, so I probably minimally need to build another one of these facilities um, down here somewhere. Uh, now that I've built a stacker in here, that might um, force me to sort of come below where the stacker is. Um, so that we can supply what would amount to even more down here. But yes, this uh, pretty much, well, does guarantee a full uh, rocket launch and a little bit more because you need about 714 um, per silo. So if you multiplied that by nine, you'd get quite a lot less than the 8,000 that's delivered. So um, you get a bonus launch every, say, three or four. Um, deliveries and this thing is probably what are we at 182k it's um, going to cycle around again at 240,000 so um, we probably need to get a move on I think or I thought at some point I actually implemented a doesn't appear that I have I might need to implement a um, don't launch um, button or uh, strategy possibly based on um, the contents of these requester chests um, because I don't really want this cycling around if it can't um, if there's no no demand nothing to fill um, so there is that all right, so I guess what I want to know is what actually is the productive capability of one of these low-density structure builds? 3,000. Wow, that's impressive. So I was thinking potentially I would need um, like half a dozen of them, but it looks like an actual fact Four would be enough because I think I need about 5,700 for my um, white science. And this thing is sort of confused, I think. Let's um, create a new one. Uh, oh, what do we do? We add a recipe. I don't exactly remember. There we go. Add a recipe, how all of this works. It doesn't actually have... Um, that's slightly annoying. It doesn't actually have the white science. Oh, uh, there we go. Why is it here? It's a strange place for it to be. What's this one? Crude oil. Uh, is this... I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no. The product that we're after is not that. It is... No. No, that's not the one that we're after. We're trying to get white science in the amount of... Um... Back. This is not what I want. I want an output of um, I want an output of space science. For whatever reason, this guy doesn't want to allow me to choose space science. 
Um, that's slightly frustrating. All right. If I want these, um, I believe I need um, I need eight thousand divided by one point four five seven one five. Okay, five seven one five. Uh, five seven one five um, and that's all it's going to tell me actually I already kind of knew that so I need that for yellow science and I think I need that for the other one so if it's going to do 3,000 per minute in each block I need exactly four blocks so I'll need this block as well and then I need a way of uh, directing the uh, low density structures down there. Currently they have this mechanism, so maybe, um, hang on, how do, oh, these guys come up here. So I could do a, uh, give it a choice here. Um, and it's going to have to cross the moment I don't think anything, no, that's not correct. Something does cross the satellite. So I could cross here um, and come down here. The main thing I actually need to do is probably move this out enough to allow for the um, this science to come in and for it to exit again. Um, it's exiting to copper. We, we have to get rid of the copper as well. Uh, so, first things first. Um, oh, and there's a, there's probably worth mentioning, there's another issue down, um, down, 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 down. In regards to the yellow science, um, oops, where are we now? Um, we are too far down. Yes, there's some unfinished builds. I'm going to have to work out which of these builds I need to bring online to get everything to work. Uh, now where are we? We are up too much. We're trying to get to... Yellow science, which is this one. Follow this down a bit. Uh... Oh, hang on, I don't know now. Um, yep, we need to keep going. Uh, that's the circuits that were all yellow science at one point. Right, so, uh, I'd like to know, we have 138,000 copper in here, that's gross. Um... That really is gross. We need to get rid of the copper and we have a copper train. We need to get rid of the copper train. Um, hmm. I can back it up, but I want to make sure that it goes. I think this is the path to the copper. I want to make sure that it comes up here. And we may even be able to shut this whole operation here down. So if we wanted to make sure that it goes up there, what we could do temporarily would be... Um,
there. So then it has to go up that way. Um, and you're completely full, aren't you? Yes, you are. Manual. I can see from here whether it's following the path I want it to. So far it appears to be the case. Uh, now we just need to check whether that is going to be enough or if that is used for something else. It may have been used for batteries at some point as well. It is used for something, it's used for whatever is following this path which was probably batteries um, and now would no longer be batteries. Which would mean it would be a uh, placed entities that could probably be removed. Um, I may need to get a vehicle uh, <laughs> snap to uh, oh, yep, there you go. This goes nowhere. So it is what I thought it was. Um, right, let's get back to where we were. Which is here. Uh, where did I put this train? I put it way down there. Okay. Right. So, we don't want this one. Which also means we don't want this one. Although I might be able to reuse it because that is that is an exit and probably the copper line will make the most sense for leading a train through. This is the sciences train so that one is correct. Uh, for now For now, let's just connect that up. Um, and work out how we are going to move these trains around. So this here is where I have a problem, I think. I basically, uh, this is where I'm gonna need the um, revision. So if what we did was to move this out, a chunk something like that and actually actually first things first the Spidertron is oh maybe oh he's way up here okay well he's not doing me much use way up there let's um, get out of map mode Tell him to come down here. He should be moving now. Very slowly. At least it is automated. So um, I think I'll leave the jet. Well, that's not what I meant. <laughs> um, I'll never find the jet if I don't go and rescue it. There it is. Aside from anything else, I don't want it just going and uncovering territory that um, map chunks. We don't need it doing that. So yeah, you wait here. Now what I want to do is basically move. Do I want to move or do I want to reuse this track? Maybe I could just reuse it actually. Well, in that case, what we want to do is um, lay track up here as the alternate path for 
Space science. You can see how long the path is, so this is why we want to fill the train with enough to do all of the um, lines of labs at a time. And you can see why I've got over a quarter of a million kilometers. Uh, is it kilometers? No. Oh. Ah, jeepers. Oh. <sighs> Great. Okay. Let's do that again. This time we will periodically um, click to record the usage of the track. And you'd probably never in real life create a system like my track that I've created for this playthrough. Because you have to pay for all this real estate, right? So that's why you've got to share the track as much as possible. But here, um, we're not paying for real estate. There's the Spidertron. So you can experiment and that's kind of, I guess, what we do to a certain extent. Um, now. Right, now I've got to work out how this track needs to go. Um, it needs to basically run up here, along here, up here. Um, across here. Huh. I'm going to get two tracks through there somehow. And then... Um, back up here be an option um, and we need an option for the return as well um, ah, I'm not actually sure where this one is going that's interesting so I could because I have to cross this anyway I could have it cross out here and the return could just join in with the standard returns here that would make a lot of sense okay that's the plan um, so to put that into practice we'll need rail from here oops that just goes straight up um, the other thing you should be aware of, it may look pretty on maps to have diagonal track, but it requires twice the computer computations, so it's not good for UPS. A slightly longer path um, is preferable. And I've got another train out of fuel. So that's a... a I guess it'd be fair to say that it's like a minor issue, but it is an issue that needs to be sorted at some point in regards to this map. The areas that I haven't actually yet covered with uh, fueling options yet. Uh, right, there's no point crossing that one. But yes, you can see just how crazy this um, is. We don't need to cross that one. This is what we needed to do. Um, I'm not actually sure what that train is. To check. I might um, do this from the top now. Oh, and I changed the autosave interval as it was just a little bit too frequent. It's now down to about half an hour. Probably still be too frequent, but um, let's not worry. So 
So yes, basically this is the um, low density structures and we can come off down like so. And then do that. And we'll have to be careful how we signal this or use wire if need be. So that's how the train can depart. Now the one that is, oh. Yeah, we'll need a chain here. And a full signal just there. Um, this one I might just use chains on both sides um, so yeah you're gonna need a chain there to get through this that's the satellites this is the <coughs> all this build um, it's been supporting the solar build but all of this is just to build satellites <coughs> at the rate fast enough to support 8,000 launches per, uh, oh, sorry, not 8,000 launches, but 8,000 space science or eight launches per minute. Um, satellites, uh, I guess it's overbuilt. <laughs> we can do 135 per minute, but that's okay. If it doesn't need to run at its top speed, that's fine. Um, I obviously thought I was going to need to do more down here, but that proved not to be the case, so that can't be helping UPS. I don't know where to put that stuff, huh? Oh, okay. We just need to put it there then. So yeah, it builds its own green circuits and red circuits and processing units if it needs them. Does it need them? I can't remember. Anyway, um, we're looking for the return at this point. You now have no path, huh? You're full. Um, I must have crossed that somewhere and not provided it signals. It has. No, it should be going down here along. Oh, it hasn't been built yet, that's why. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I need to stop this launching. Um, I think I need to run wire along here. You don't want wire if you don't need it, but perhaps we need this wire. Um. No, not set request. Read contents. Oh, 
I'm already reading contents there. 22,000. Oh, so yeah, we've got to stop. Um, I need more green wires. that it yes okay so um, what have we got 23k that would mean we could do another launch I basically want to be less than 30k I think space science is less than 30,000 so it's actually opened up that's because um, I have 20, I have 40 requester chests that have a request set to, oh, to 296 apparently. Um, actually, it doesn't matter that much. These things could just load up. 296, how does that make sense? How did you get to 1.1k if these are only set to 296 and why are they set to 296 instead of 1k? I thought they were set to 1k. Alright, I'm going to change this to 1000. So I've got 40 requester chests set to 1000. Um, so 40,000 can be stored. I mean, you can store a huge amount in these buffer chests, but while we're doing these changes, I don't want this just building up to a point. Uh, I guess given that, you know, these are massive, we're never going to really get to that point, but all the same. They just will make me feel better. And then I'll get rid of the circuit condition because it's not adding anything useful. Um, this here. Is the exit for um, it's the exit for the low density structures so what do we want to do exactly we want to I could stay on the outside of that one basically all the way until we cross over about here and then we come down here and connect into this that is actually what we need to do all right let's do that um, if we're staying on the outside we can still kind of come across here Spider-Tron has enough rail to do all this building. I don't think I'm going to need to load them up again though. There's probably plenty to remove as well. That's going to be a focus. Um, once we have science ticking over at some level, and I like having it ticking over at some level, but I'll come back to that. Once we have um, science ticking over, um, then we can start focusing on these other issues of uh, performance um, what we didn't need that we used to need that sort of thing um, 
Okay, that's fun. All right. Let's see, 35 minutes in. Um, we probably are not too terrible a position to potentially have actual ongoing science restored before this episode is out. Obviously not at the full 8K yet. We don't even have enough labs for that yet. But, um, yeah, that's certainly something. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I wanted it to go from here. Uh, we want it to get to there. So I probably, yeah, just cut across and then down. Um, oh, this is just because it was moved, right? Um, yeah, that's too far. We might as well just cut straight across here. Sorry about that, a minor interruption due to school holidays. Uh, let's get this happening again. Uh, let's see. Actually, didn't we decide? I don't know what we decided. Um, Oh, we've got this one coming down here, haven't we? We don't need this copper. Why don't I just use the copper, disconnect, back the copper train all the way up. So it's completely out of the way. Disconnect this. And um, connect up there. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Because I've already got the infrastructure and I don't need to redo it. So, I think we're on this track. So if I do that, maybe I can make as a project, I should concrete this world. <laughs> I should probably check what's broken down as well. Uh, okay, these ones, that's kind of bad. We're going to need a way of getting a refueling train to refuel across all of this. Um, we are delivering um, the silo fuel, so I could perhaps have a train pull off here. It would then have to circle around here to come back up, but that would be okay. Um, it looks like we... Uh, okay, so these guys, 
wants the 23, right. So they'll get to 32 and these will shut off, which is what we want, that's fine. Um, yeah, silos are always cool to watch launch, especially when you've got a lot of them. Um, now I know people in modded playthroughs have done more. I've done six, I've done 80 silos at once um, in the past, long time ago. Maybe I should revisit that to a Bob's playthrough and try and get 100k science a minute. Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, we're getting... So I could have that unload here and bots carry fuel because they don't actually... It might seem like a bad idea having bots travel this sort of distance, but um, bot, uh, the amount of fuel trains use, they don't actually need it that often. Um, we probably need this quite desperately or this whole thing is going to die out, but yeah, okay. Well, um, we'll worry about that a bit later, I guess. All right, we need to get you off this track. And again, we'll watch over here in the mini map to see, make sure it goes where we want it to. Now, I might have signals. Um, I might have signals in this that I don't actually want. That is probably my only real issue. Right, let's completely remove the intersection now. Um, what are you for? I'm trying to do something smart with smarts. Have to have a look back at my old playthroughs to see what that was for. Yeah, I'm not sure about these things. Um, they might cause an issue. So if we were to do that, what we would basically do is get rid of this line altogether and have this one come out of here and have this one uh, connect in here and get rid of this corner, which uh, I guess we can do. Wait a minute. Are you actually doing useful stuff now? All by yourself? Oh, you'll undo stuff. Oh no. You will actually do both. What? Uh, okay, I don't really get it. The other day it seemed like I needed to be in the thing. Today it doesn't look like I do. It's a lot more useful if I don't need to be in it. I haven't had added any mods for that to be the case. Um, if I'm doing this, why do I need to change where... where this guy comes down? I just don't. Um, I don't actually need to do this change. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh dear, dear oh dear.
Oops, let's get rid of you actually and you. You are getting restored. those stones. I've got 70,000 stone back in the original starter base. I don't need to add to the collection unless I really need to. This one, whoops. Come back to that. Now, um, you are the one that is departing, so. rather the train not go through an unnecessary zigzag through there. Uh, these changes to the plans mean that we're going to be slightly further away. We may not quite get to the train, or maybe I'll just keep pushing until we do. Uh, like full science, because full science would be good, and it would be a good way to kind of celebrate the 20th episode, wouldn't it? The 20th revival episode. Probably ideally we just want to go across here. I still have a vast number of copper to get rid of. Which could be a problem. Um, uh, and continuing. Okay. There's one square here that's just wrong, but I can't get to it. Um, oh, trees. How we just love you.
Are these going to connect perfectly? They are. That is just wonderful. Now, oh, and there's another. Oh, I think I can get to that connection. Nope. And of course, takes the wrong one. All right, uh, Mr. Spidertron. How about we move you down here? You're gonna build this one. You're gonna build this one. Apparently not. Um, right, and here, we are going to need a few a few signals just to enable it all to happen. Um, Maybe it's a bug in the Spidertron and it's supposed to... Because there's no reason I should have to sit in it for it to activate its robots. That uh, is just bad design, really. It's not my idea of automation mechanics. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. It does look like it did actually build it, it just had a long delay. There is actually a setting you can do to make construction robots um, more responsive. I saw the devs talk about it at one point. Um, it can impair game performance, but it's only going to do it in your building phase, so I don't really see why that's such an issue. It looks like we've restored the line for the um, space train, which is sort of a plus and a minus. Right, now we can see this. You can clearly see how there's that extra bit there. It's not a especially helpful bit, so yeah. Uh, there's a piece down here that I really don't want. Sitting on the map. How is your supply? I think it's probably fine. Two saves, that means we're the best part of an hour in. Uh, yeah, you've got tons of rail, that's fine. Do we have to make a choice or can it do both sides? Looks like it can do both sides, although we're getting a little bit more charging activity required at the moment. What's the problem over here, dudes? No problem, good. Now we're getting a little bit closer. Oh, come on. So it should be a little bit easier for it. Even with its janky selection of what it wants to do.
All right, let's do the positive side first. Now, I don't expect a train to rush off and, and uh, service this area immediately because the train station name is not going to work for it. Not sure if I should make the trains specifically go down this path 50% of the time. It might be the best bet. Uh, so they basically alternate because both sources need the same amount of stuff if I did my calculations correctly. Although this path takes a lot longer, but um, it's just a question of whether we actually need to introduce more trains than the one. And we may well need to, because this is a very long path. just about be done. For now I might just give it the um, same name as the silo and see what happens I guess. I mean, I must admit the Spidertron is is cool. It's just possibly a little bit slow for this map. Map size. I think people have modded um, faster Spidertrons and so on, but at some point you're just making the thing the already perhaps slightly overpowered thing uh, even more overpowered. concerns me let's get rid of those for now otherwise I could end up with all the trains down here which would be a problem if I want more than one train down here I'll set it up like I could make them chain signals that's fine but um uh, you don't need to be like so. Okay. This means we need to restore. Oh, I see more signals. We need to restore these. Um, and this one here. Where does that go? Um, okay, that's the exit. That should actually join up on that side. So. Um, I may have changed the direction that all these are supposed to go in, um, unwittingly. Map mode, I don't want to be in map mode. 
can we shunt over to that? We can. Okay. I don't really like doing that, but this time we will do it. Uh, these guys. So you're basically heading up, right? You want to go through and you are coming down. And then you have one of those. Okay. Uh, the train is currently called YS Bat. Oh, that's right. Let's go down there and get rid of the products that we don't want. Uh, um, oh, we've got a whole train here that we don't want. Well, how much is on it? 856. Um, oh, I fall because of the fuel. Okay, so I want a bunch of requested chests. Oops, not those. Requested chests. Um, all right, buffer chests. You're going to order um, copper plate in the amount of 4,000 each. Do you not have you have construction robots, but you don't have logic logi bots? That's a problem. You need some logi bots. Do we have some logi bots over here? Uh, ye yes, we have. Um, we have some. Does this have something about Logibots? Um, just go away. I'm not sure how all the Logibots ended up over there, but they did. I suppose what I really should do is rip out most of these. That would give me back most of my Logi bots. Sixty-seven. I don't think I need a massive army of Logi bots for Yellow Science in its current form. Oops. 
it's not many. Uh, we hardly got any. 50 Lodgy Bots, that's it. Cannot insert Robo Ports. Too many beacons as well. That's better. Uh, you can have my Lodgy Bots. Oh, is that exercise done? Okay, so the next exercise is to remove speed modules. Uh, speed module ones, where are they? They're in here. In the amount of, I think it's 2000 that you can fit in one of these boxes. Right, uh, okay, I've noticed we have some of our old friends striking in here as well. Uh, being the missing modules and beacons. Um, so, let's fix this. Oops. If it's on that side, it's probably on this side as well. Yes, it is. Um, so, this one was copper, this one um, says batteries. Um, I think the one that says copper is the one that should be made the same as this one, Silo LDS. Uh, for now, it's probably it may have bad repercussions. Silo LDS. Uh, why are you not heading towards Silo LDS then? You should be going up here, along there, down there. Uh, okay. Um, I'm thinking we're running too much overtime at this point. So we may have to be doing some of this in the next episode. Um... Is this just too far away for you to be bothered? Or is there actually a problem somewhere on the track? That I did not complete. This one here. You're trying to get to silo LDS. Do it because there's no path. Okay. Um, so far, the path is okay. Manual. I'm sure it's just going to be a signal. I've probably swapped the side these trains are running on uh, to reuse that track. Uh, 
this shouldn't actually be going in both directions. It should only go down. Like so. And that's not going to be enough. But let's carry on. I think the problem's going to arise when I strike the old track somewhere along here. There will be a signal that is indicating we can't go in this direction. And I think that's it right there. Well, one of them. Yeah, those ones are no good. It's another reason I had to get rid of them because we've suddenly become right hand drive rather than left hand drive. Um, I can always try this again. No. So there's clearly more, which also doesn't surprise me much. Somewhere along here, there could easily be one. Like here, for example. This was the old battery line. We're no longer, oh, and here. We're no longer needing batteries along this path at all, so it's perfectly safe. It was also copper. We don't need copper in yellow science, so we're perfectly safe in that regards as well. Um, I have no idea in here. Okay, good. At least I know that I tended to put signals on or next to power poles. Uh, you're going in the correct direction. So from this point, it might actually work. Uh, yes, except it doesn't want to for some reason. Why doesn't it want to? Um, I think I need a signal right there. Uh, let's use, so we need to be in the top lane. Uh, that should work. Uh, no. Oh, 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 oh. This could be a problem. We can't actually get into the top lane. Um, see that? This does not go up here. Um, the top lane is reserved for this. So we don't even need it to connect here. We can do that. Now do you work? Ooh, you actually do work. Are you unloading? Um, I don't want bots on doing something. Whatever it is they think they needed to do. Um, why? Oh, you're not quite lined up correctly, are you? That's awkward. It's 
very awkward. You can go up to there. It's like we're going to have to move all of these. Um, yes, there's still a lot of copper that needs to get removed from there. Now the other thing that's sort of apparent is we must have a less than ideal recipe in here maybe. No, we just don't have the other engines. Um, guys, we've gone way over time. Uh, I think we're going to have to finish this in the next episode. Thanks for joining me for this. Look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.